Good morning, Metaverse. I'm Thor with the OCG and Mafia Guilds, and today I'm going to do a fast dive into the Pierce X5. So let's get started. All right, so here's the Pierce X5. It's a really cool ship. It kind of looks like the love child between an X-Wing and a TIE Fighter, which there's a lot of things wrong with that, but it ends up coming out pretty cool. And one of the favorite parts that I have about this ship is one, it, it's dollar point, $135 origination price. It's a lot more affordable than some of those $1,000, 10, 30, hundred thousand dollar ships out there and so for people that are just getting into the game they want to just dip their toe in and, and check it out pierce x5 is one of my first recommendations and also one of my favorite ships uh, to, to look through and, and theory craft about because it has a unique ability where a lot of ships that are out there on the market are specialized to one type of task the x5 has actually four different configurations that it can go through. And so let's look at one of the pictures to show you this. So these are the four different configurations that it has. One, it has two of its gun thruster mandibles, its arms are going forward, two are going back. Okay, so that's sort of your two rockets and, and two guns. Then you have the full on assault where you have all of your guns pointing forward all right, you mean business. Then you have where all of those arms are head backwards and you have the four rocket boosters mega fast, right? And then you have this last formation where all those arms come in kind of like a, a, a crab and it's a defensive mode and you can take more hits that way uh, in order to get out of danger if if things get a little bit too hairy so that's some cool versatility that that ship has just by its very design and you know that is something in in a game where maybe you're not positive how you want to play it or you have a couple different game loops that you enjoy uh, whether it's pvp and you like to dogfight a lot or if you want to just run missions to and from different uh, space stations the x5 has the ability to do all of those fairly well and so if we go down to the crew slots it has two crew members it's an extra small ship, but it has six weapon hard points, which most ships uh, are between two and four hard points. And the X5 has six extra small slot hard points. So it is a little bit more firepower for what you're getting. And uh, so in that regards, it should be able to hold its own even against some of the larger ships and give you the safety when you're, you're doing missions and going around. It also has a cargo module. So you have the ability to do some basic shipping type gameplay if you so choose. And you know, the price point here at 135 is the origination price, but let's go to the marketplace and see what it's selling for right now. So this is mid April. And let's go to the USD and it is selling for $85, uh, $86 roughly. Okay, so that's a massive deduction from where it started, 135 down to 85, that's a big discount. And there's a tool that I wanted to show you real quick and a little shout out to the club um, at explore.staratlas.club slash ship slash staking. This is a cool tool that they've put together free for the community to use. So thank you very much guys, did great. Um, it's a tool that shows you its market price and these prices get updated uh, periodically, but it also shows you the daily rewards that it earns, its daily consumption of resources and APR percent is one that I look at a lot. So the X5 is uh, APR of 48.4%, which is really good. And the purchase price, they have it at, at $86.99, and that's 38% deduction from its origination price. So, not financial advice, but arguably, this would be a good time to buy. You can use that tool, and I find that to be very helpful. Also, let's look at some of these pictures, because the Pierce X5 has some of the most uh, concept art and and pictures of the ship and some of my favorite it gives you some good views you know on top of or or, or docked at a, a capital sized ship 
right? And the X-5 is going to be used in conjunction with some larger ships as sort of a sentry, kind of like those TIE fighters just coming out of the ships and taking off after specific targets. I think that'll be a really fun gameplay. This, yeah, this is the all guns forward. I mean, business, get it done. That's scary. I'm scared by that. I like it, though. And uh, these are just a couple different configurations that it can be flying in. It has a lot of ability to maneuver from what the pictures show and, and from what the descriptions have been. And I think that X5 is going to be one of the staples in Star Atlas one of those go-to ships because of its ability to be versatile, play in different ways. I think it's it's definitely a, a great one to pick up if you're going to start your fleet. Uh, that's my personal opinion on that. So yeah, plenty of, of pictures to get a good feel of what this ship is going to be and, and what you what you own in the metaverse. Some interiors and some blueprints and so some real details. 19.6 meters long, 8 0.4 meters wide, the size of the arms, the different formations that it has. Uh, yeah, real, real detailed. I like it. And that's it. And so, yeah, the four different formations, that's, that's the four different faces of the Pierce X5. Hope you found this useful. Don't worry about liking or subscribing. You can screw the algorithm because uh, I don't care. But what I do want is if you think this is useful and someone else could find it's beneficial, then share it with them. And if you can do that, then today was a good day. Good morning, Metaverse.